Hello, I'm using this theme called Beautiful and I've built a website but I want to restrict this entire site I want to lock out everybody except for my agents or the people I've set as users of my website the first thing I need to do is go to the WordPress dashboard and install a plugin so we need to go to plugins add new and over here it says search plugins now you've got to make sure you're in the add new section not installed plugins you want to be in the add new section and then in this search box I'm going to search for my private site and this one it's by David hmm, Gueritz I think uh, click install now and I'm going to activate the plugin now I've installed the plugin but if we look in a different web browser this is I've opened a different web browser here and I can still see the site so if I clicked on a, a page I can still see this this website so I need to make some changes to the settings so now I want to go to in my WordPress dashboard I'm going to go to plugins installed plugins because we've installed the plugin and it's my private site now I activated it if you haven't activated it there it'll say activate instead of deactivate so you'll have to activate the plugin and then click settings now there's quite a lot of settings but the only one that we really need is this private site so if we just click that where it says private site this plugin is currently disabled click the checkbox to enable then click save settings now if we go back to the other browser this is I'm in a different browser window now as if I'm not logged in so I'll have a look and it's asking me to log in now it's asked me to log in but the only people who can log in are users of the website and if we have a look here if we go in the WordPress dashboard go to users all users and the only user that there is me at the moment so I need to add each member of my team as a user of the website so I'm going to add new so I'm in users all users and I'm going to click add new and one of my new users is called Jane and I've got to put her an email in for an email address you'd put in the real email address there uh, you can put first name last name if they've got a website you can put that there too now I'm, I'm going to find the password because I um, I need to be able to log in so I'm just going to normally this password you can send directly to the user or you can email it yourself if you tick this box WordPress will send it to the user um, if you don't tick that box you can email the password to the user yourself but this is important this subscriber role here where it says role you want to choose subscriber there's different options from this drop-down list but if you choose author or administrator that gives the user power over your website if they're a subscriber all they can do is read the website just look at it so you want to choose subscriber be really careful there don't make them into a, an administrator because that means that they've got control over your website so be careful make sure you choose subscriber and then I'm not going to send the email because I'm on what they call a local development uh, website so I can't send emails on this one uh, so I just now add a new user and that's going to add Jane as a user to this website so now if we go back to the other website we'll refresh that page it's asking us to log in put in the password so now when we log in we can see the site if you don't see the site straight away there's a button up here that says dashboard and you've got two options you'll either see the dashboard or you'll see the site so if you don't see the site just click that 
and it shows you either the dashboard or the site. Don't click the WordPress sign, click this where it's uh, the name of your site here. And when your users want to log out, they just hover over this one here, click log out. And now all I can see is the login page. So I'll have a quick recap. I use this plugin called My Private Site. I was using Beautiful Theme, which is a really simple, clean theme. Once I'd installed the plugin, I had to go to Plugins, Installed Plugins, and then where it's My Private Site, I clicked Settings, and this box here that says uh, Private Site here, I clicked, I ticked the box and I clicked save settings and then I had to add somebody as a user, I added someone called Jane as a user and I made sure that the role was subscriber, make sure your user's role is subscriber. Good luck and bye for now.